to understand resilience, you need to understand two things before the event. How critical is the asset and how vulnerable is the asset? What is the future for cities? Do you want to learn more about them? Do you want to know how others think about them? Do you want to be part of the conversation that this is the right place? Welcome to What is the Future for Cities podcast. I will interview Dr. Hayden Reed, a specialist practitioner in system thinking and action. We will talk about his vision for the future of cities, community well-being, evidence-based decision-making, organic versus planned city growth, and many more. So take a hospital, super critical asset, right? Piece of infrastructure. How vulnerable is it? What's the pipe up to it that supplies the water? Going back to the analogy we've been using. The hospital might be earthquake proof or not. Maybe it's sitting on a liquefaction zone. Maybe the pipes go through a liquefaction zone. So you've got some pre-event circumstances, i.e. some vulnerability circumstances or some criticality circumstances, vis-a-vis it's a hospital, that you need to consider even before you talk about resilience. So you need to understand these two things before you can talk about this. The, there's a piece in the middle called risk. And what risk is, what is the likelihood and consequence, to use those two phrases, of a particular event at a particular scale stopping the hospital from performing its service that it's designed for? So if it's a one earthquake, the problem is two, problem so on and so forth, seven, problem eight, big problem, nine, gone. So you need to understand the risk and what the resilience is, actually, if it breaks post-event, how long does it take for it to return to the point that it was delivering the services at the level of services pre-event? So that's what resilience is in infrastructure. Find out more in episode 260 with Dr. Hayden Reed on the What is the future for cities podcast?